Imagine the convenience of controlling your TV and your high-definition cable or satellite set-top box, Blu-ray player, home theater system, and soundbar using only your LG Magic Remote. It's as simple as setting them up with the universal control feature on your LG Smart TV with WebOS. To begin, press the 123 input button near the center of your Magic Remote. This will bring up the universal control user interface in the corner of your TV screen. Just click on the setup bar, which will take us to the device connector screen. So what would you like to connect? Choose from set top box, Blu-ray or DVD player, a home theater system, or a sound bar. Try home theater. First, select an input on the TV that the home theater system will be plugged into. Simple graphics and brief instructions talk you through the physical connection. Go with HDMI 1. Make sure the device is turned on and you should see its signal displayed in this window on the right. Click Next and in case of a home theater system, you'll need to select which port on the television will be sending the TV audio out, either optical or simply HDMI 1 because it offers the Audio Return Channel or ARC. We go into more detail about ARC in a different video. Click Next and you'll learn about LG SimpLink which allows devices connected via HDMI to work together seamlessly. You can use your Magic Remote to operate other LG devices, as well as powering on and off connected devices automatically. SimpLink is switched on by default, but you can switch it off by clicking here. Click Next again, and you'll be reminded to keep the connected device no more than three feet from the TV, and not behind a door or inside a closed drawer, in order to work properly with the universal control. Next, select the device manufacturer from this list. Click Next, and you can test to see that the remote codes are compatible. Click on Power. Did your connected device turn off? Click on Play. Did your device begin playing? Give each command a few seconds to work, because response times can vary. If this doesn't work, click on the small right arrow to switch the remote type and try again. Chances are, one of them will work with your device. When it does, click Next, and your universal control setup for this device is complete. You can click Go to this device to begin enjoying immediately, or click Set another device to go through the steps to connect your next piece of equipment. Or you can add other devices later. If you decide you want to add one of your high definition devices to the launcher for quicker access in the future, just press the Home button, then Inputs, and All Inputs for a complete listing. Click on the input for your Blu-ray player, then click Add to Launcher, which actually adds it to the All Apps bar. While you're here, you can also edit the icon used to represent your Blu-ray player, as well as the name of the input, by clicking on these edit buttons. And from the All Apps list here to the right of the launcher, click and hold on the icon for your device, and then drag it to the left and drop it into the one of the first nine spots. Now it'll come right up whenever you press the Home button. Once you set up all of your devices, the next time you press the 123 input button on the Magic Remote, you'll see the customized universal control interface for whichever device you set up for that input on your TV. For example, if the TV is on HDMI input 1, and that's what you chose for your home theater system, then that's what you'll see with the correct brand noted up here as you indicated during the setup. The controls are specific to your device, and there are also additional buttons available when you click on the gray arrow. You can also reposition the universal control interface on the screen by clicking this arrow. If you click on this little down arrow next to the device name, it opens up a list of devices that you set up for universal control. You can click on one to switch inputs on the fly. With universal control in your Magic Remote, you should have a clean, simple way to control your LG Smart TV and all of your connected devices. Chances are, you won't need the old remotes, so tuck them in a drawer next to your VHS tapes and rotary phones.